This week, the Global Initiative Against Transnational Organized Crime has been at the United Nations in Vienna for the 11th Conference of Parties to the United Nations Convention Against Transnational Organized Crime. As a civil society organization, we have been attending to the Conference of Parties since 2014. Drawing on our work and collaboration with civil society organizations, states and other stakeholders, we've organized a range of side events throughout this week. We looked at new ways of measuring corruption and organized crime, drawing on the key findings of the Global Organized Crime Index, the first ever assessment of the state and organized crime in all 193 UN member states. We discussed new ideas and innovations on how the on-talk implementation can be improved through other UN processes and other illegal instruments and through enhancing and facilitating civil society engagement in the UNTOC review mechanism. We explored the links between arms trafficking and other forms of organized crime. And the challenges posed by illicit foreign arms. And we discussed the links between crime, conflict and instability in West Africa, presenting our latest findings of the research mapping illicit hubs in West Africa. And we also presented our latest research on the impact of UNTOC implementation across Africa. During the plenary sessions, we delivered statements providing input in each of the agenda items discussed by member states. And all sectors of society against the uncivil society that continue to supply its trade across borders. I thank you. Since the year 2000, when the Palermo Convention was adopted, the number and scope of NGOs working on organised crime has increased dramatically. So we've been very pleased to see so many engaging here this week and the Global Initiative has been supporting many of those NGOs to come here. The issue of NGO participation in the Conference of Parties to the UN Convention Against Transnational Organised Crime has been high on the agenda this week, with many member states showing strong support and all NGOs who applied to attend have been able to attend. We think their role is crucial in ensuring the effective and efficient implementation of the Convention. This year, we invited the Resilience Fund grantees and fellows to join us at the conference. The Resilience Fund is a grant-making mechanism which provides funding and support to groups or individuals fighting organized crime in their communities around the globe. Businessmen also do loan sharking because they have some money that they want to invest and to take a, a big interest. The grantees travel to Vienna to engage in the events and discussions and provide their insight into organized crime in the places they live and work. For the UNRBC Civil Society Unit in this And on Tuesday, we hosted a reception giving diplomats, academics and civil society the opportunity to connect and engage in informal discussions about how we can work together in our fight against organized crime around the world. You can watch our side events and know more about our engagements by visiting our website.